And this time, I came to expose a little certain motherfucker named Gavin. Or supposedly James Quinn. So let me tell you something right now, little boy. I know you're watching this, Gavin, so don't sit there and pretend that you ain't, son. See, the difference between me and you, Gavin, what makes me a bigger man than you, is the fact that I don't go looking for a fight like you're doing. Because that's all you're doing, boys. You're looking for a fight. Well, let me tell you something right now, son. A real man doesn't go looking for a fight. And guess what? What you're doing makes you a coward. That's all you are, Gavin, is a fucking coward. You're pissed off and afraid that I have a lot more power. You don't think I have any power or influence, not only in the music industry, but the art community? That's where you're wrong. I have gained the respect of major actors like Jason David Frank and, and the longtime friend of the family, Bo Bridges. I've gained their respect. I've gained respect from some of the top artists on the, over the world. Whether it's digital or regular, I've gained their respect. And guess what? They all agree with me on one thing. Art is art. It doesn't matter if you use a generator. It doesn't matter if you do it by hand. It does not matter. Art is art. What I did was not illegal. What, just because I had an art blockage today, which if you don't know, we do get those of us who are real artists, unlike you, Gavin, sitting there running your mouth. What you fail to realize is real people like myself have blocks a lot of the times to wear, no matter what we do, we can't, you know, really draw or do anything. It happens to the best of us. I was having trouble actually drawing your image. I went to a generator and did it. There's nothing wrong with that. That is still considered art. I still created that. That is still my own piece that I did. I don't know who's feeding you these bullshit lies that it's not my art. Whoever's feeding you that shit is full of fucking lies. They're lying to you, Gavin. Let me tell you something. My artwork is my own, and I will defend it to the fucking nail. I will die before I give up my art. I will die. Before I stop defending my artwork. And the fact that you sat there. And told me to kill myself. Jail for that. Because what would happen if. Not that I will. But what's to say that. I like what. Like the reason why I'm not going to do that. Is because I'm not going to give you the fucking satisfaction. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of, of me killing myself. It ain't happening. But if I were to do that, I because you cyber bullied me, you bullied me into doing that, do you not realize that you basically killed me? That is a, dude, that is a felony. You can go to jail for that. Do you not understand that this little boy what you don't understand is that I am twice your age. I will be 28. And, and I've seen your little comments and your posts on my Facebook timeline. And if you guys haven't seen his fucking posts, go there, check him out, and report this guy's account for being fake. Please. Report this kid. Because let me tell you something, Gavin. I've been to jail. And trust me. You don't want to be in jail. And the reason why I'm not going to be because I'm scared is because I'm a bigger man than that. I'm not going to fight some little punk-ass wannabe kid 
thinking that he's hot shit when really he's nothing. Dude, I could kick your ass with my eyes closed if I really wanted to. But I'm not going to. Because I'm a bigger man than you will ever be, Gavin. Way bigger. Which, and I'm sure by now you know it as being fake. Because obviously you are fake, my dude. Honestly, I think he's 15. Judging by the picture that he sent me, I truly believe that he's 15. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like farting is an art. I swear to God, sometimes it feels like it. But point being, Gavin, you're just a kid. We all know you're not 25. We all know that you're not the famous artist James Quinn. We all know this. Your gig is up, Gavin. You want to expose, like I said in the last live stream, you want to expose me? I can play that game too. But I can play it better than you. Why? Because I've been in the art game a lot longer than you've been alive, son. And I've been in the music business for 10 plus years. And trust me, I've worked with some of the best music artists in the biz. And do I expect any payment from it? No. Because I believe in helping people out. I enjoyed working with those people. I've earned my reputation not only as a music artist, not only as a singer, songwriter, but I've also earned the respect of many people in the art community. And as I said, I've built a very strong reputation. I have several people that I can add to my resume that support my work. And some of them are music artists. Some of them you might even know. Like Julian Solano, a very dear friend of mine who just happens to be the main founder of the web. I work with that man all the time on stuff. And I enjoy it. I love working with Julian. He's one of the coolest people I've ever fucking met. And let's see, who else have I worked with? I've worked with guys like Cryptic Wisdom, Six Seconds. By the way, shout out to Six and Cryptic. What up, y'all? Hmm, let's see. Who else? Should I keep going here? Oh, yeah. I'll put the legendary underground music artist, Possessed One. The king of the underground music scene, King Coda, or also known as Coda Oda. Well, more or less known by King Coda, but his main name is Coda Oda. Let's see. What else have I done? Oh, yeah. I've gained a major actor, Jason David Frank, who played Tommy on Power Rangers, as well as Bloodshot, Rebellion, as well as many other movies. One of my childhood heroes. And I've also gained the respect of major actor and very dear friend of my family for since as long as I can remember, Bo Bridges and his brother Jeff. I've gained the respect of a lot of people. Dude, I've actually gained the respect of even some sports people. One of them, Ronda Rousey, who actually enjoyed some of my artwork that I posted up on Instagram. So like I said, you want to expose me and try to end my career, boy? Not going to happen. Why? Because I got too much power and respect under my belt from many people. Fucking arms, son. A lot longer. And let me tell you something. Every single one of those people that knows my artwork, that knows my music, and respects me for everything that I do, they can even tell you that you were in the wrong for doing what you did. But the main thing that gets me is you're lesser than me. And the reason why you're lesser than me 
is because of the fact of the shit that you posted on my timeline saying that my ego's bigger and turning around and telling me to go kill myself. That don't make you a man. That makes you a fucking whiny ass pussy bitch. That's all that makes you. You act like, whereas for me, I act like a grown ass adult. I act like a real man. Yeah, exactly. I agree. With that. Oh, yeah, I totally get where you're coming from because I'm 27, I'm about to be 28 in a couple of weeks. And sometimes I'm with the way my body is, with my screwed ankles, half the time I feel like I'm freaking 80 and I'm only 27, I'm about to be 28. So I get it. It's It sucks. And my favorite colors, Leah, are black, red, and sapphire blue. As well as Seahawks colors is blue, green, and white. Shout out to the 12th man. What up, Seahawks? What's up to everybody back home in Seattle? Love you guys. Shout out to my Seahawks family and everybody back home. Love you guys. Miss y'all. Let's take the Super Bowl this year, y'all. What's up? But... All in all, Gavin, you're just another troll, kid. That's all you are, Gavin. And if you think I can't end your career in art or music or anything, try me, boy. I've ended careers before. Because they were fake people and they couldn't handle the pressure of me tearing them down. Because I exposed them for who they really are. You can't expose me or... I am unstoppable and I am untouchable. And you're probably asking me, well, how can you be untouchable, blah, 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 blah. Well, let me tell you something, dude. I've worked with some of the best in both businesses and I have nothing to lose. Now, let me tell you something, dude. That makes me a lot more dangerous than you, by far. Like I said last time, dude, you are in way over your head. You do not know who you're messing with. You're messing with it, and it's bigger and badder and stronger than you will ever be. Not only physically, but mentally and emotionally stronger. Because I've been through way more shit than you could ever imagine, boy. Way more shit. I've watched friends die. I've watched family die. I watched some of my best friends in the world from war zones being drug off. They're on the fucking news. I've watched some of my best friends in the world die right in front of my eyes. And that's not even count. When I went to jail, I saw a guy's body bloody, beaten, stabbed, destroyed. As he was being drugged across the fucking floor and blood was trailing behind him. Over dumb shit. I watched a guy get carried away in a straitjacket because he was fucking psychotic. And screaming to the point where it scared me, I'll admit. But what makes me better than you is that I regard not only for myself, but I hold high regard for those that support my work, that appreciate everything I do. And unlike you, I don't go looking for a fight. That's the one thing I will not do.
And that's what separates me from you, Gavin, is the fact that I am a bigger man than you will ever be. I am not afraid of you. I do not fear you. I do not fear anybody. Get your little friends and gang up on me and do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. You can, dude, you can even bring your friends to the fucking lake and kick my ass and beat my ass all you want. But one thing you fail to realize, you can knock me down as many times as you want. But I guarantee you, I will get right back up and beat your fucking ass. Out of pure self-defense. So like I said, you ever want to fight me? But know this. You throw the first punch, boy, I will knock you flat on your fucking ass. And that ain't fucking words either. That is fucking fact. I have talked with guys that are six foot five before. And twice my fucking size and twice my weight. Just in high school, son. That's in high school. Yeah, I might not be stronger than you in some respects, and I'll give you that. But what you fail to realize is I have speed and endurance and technique on my side. Fuck what you got for power, dude. Fuck that power. I could drop your ass with just a couple moves easily. And that ain't a threat. That's pure fact. Because what you fail to realize, kid, is I'm an army brat born and raised. Okay? I was raised around real fucking fighters. So, honestly, dude, it wouldn't take much for me to kick your ass. Not that I want to and not that I'm going to, but I guarantee you I ever see you and you throw a fucking punch at me, dude, it is a lights out for you. Because I have been trained to kick ass by not only my dad, who sadly actually had, you know, unfortunately disowned me for drugs and weed and shit, but I was also trained by my late best friend who passed. My best friend Kyle Gardner trained me. So, dude, you can bring a, like, bro, you can bring whatever friends you want. It can be one-on-one. -on -one, it can be two-on-one. -on -one, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about the odds. I will take you and your friends on any given day of the week. And if you think I'm playing about me kicking your ass, fucking try me, son. You do not want to face a real man who can physically put you in the fucking hospital. Not that I want to do that, but if it comes down to it, I will fight you if I absolutely have no choice. Like I said, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight anybody. I really don't. But if, if it comes down to it, I will do what I have to do to survive. I will beat your ass. And I'm not afraid either. So like I said, you want to kick my ass? Come and fucking find me, little boy. I'm not afraid of you. If you're such a hard ass, then why don't you come fucking do something, boy? Stop being a fucking little blonky ass computer nerd and stop hiding on your fucking keyboard and come do something. I'm not hiding. I'm right here. I don't care whether it's outside, I don't yell grass. Garen fucking tea. Because one thing that you fail to realize, I know how to use my environment around me to my advantage. So you can fucking do whatever you want to me, I don't care. At the end of the day, I've got the upper hand, you don't. You have no formal training. 
your street fighting bullshit that you think is that's not going to do anything against somebody like me who is actually trained in professional style fighting, who is raised as an army brat, who is raised to use fighting styles that are meant to survive and disarm and potentially kill your opponent. Your street fighting has nothing. So like I said, try all you want, dude. But I guarantee you at the end of the day, I will walk away the victor. I will walk away the bigger man. So I guess stop talking and fucking do it. Because I'm a man of my fucking word. Ask anybody here that knows me. I am a man of my word. When I say I'm going to do something, I do it. I don't sit there and hide and cower behind my fucking keyboard. I'm not a fucking blogging computer nerd fucking warrior like you. And that's something else that separates me and you, Gavin. And not only am I more of a badass than you, but you're all talking no action. Where, as for me, I let my actions speak for my words. Have you ever heard the term actions speak louder than words? Well, if not, you're going to learn today. I let my actions speak for themselves. And that's something you can never do. Like I said, you can knock me down. You can break my arm, break my hand, whatever you want. I don't give a shit. I guarantee you I will still fucking fight with that broken arm and beat your ass. So you can kick me down. You can beat me. You can do whatever you want. But I'll still get right back up and keep on fucking swinging until I knock your ass out. So you want to sit there and make threats towards me? Go ahead. That's just more shit for me to use against you. So your little fucking antics that you're pulling all over Facebook, son. See, that that's what's funny. You fail to realize... With you doing that, you're feeding me ammunition to use against you. You played right into my fucking hand with these fucking bullshit comments. See, what you fail to realize, Gavin, is that what I did was honest. I created that stuff thinking that you actually wanted to buy it. But when you went off and started making these posts and comments and shit and telling me to kill myself, when you first told me to kill myself, that's when I sat back and I let you say what you want. Reason why? Because that's more fuel for me to use against you to get your ass kicked off Facebook. Why? Because you have no place on social media. People like you don't belong on social media. Because all you do is you bully, you take, and you continue to bully some more. Without any repercussions. One thing you fail to realize, Gavin, there's a reason that in the music world, I'm known as the Demon King. There's a reason. It's not just because of my demonic wordplay or rapid wordplay or truthful shit. It's because of the fact that I know how to expose a motherfucker, person apart like it's nothing. And guess what, dude? It's hunting season, and guess what? I'm coming for you, Gavin. Your career is done. Your time on Facebook it's just a matter of time. That's all it is. I'm sitting here biding my time. I'm waiting. 
I'm waiting for the moment that you say one more motherfucking thing to set me off. Hell, I ain't even got to wait. Because I'm pretty sure by now all my friends, like I said, they're probably... Rep so like I said, you think you're such a hard ass. Dude. Stop fucking talking about it and fucking do it. I'm outside every fucking day down by the lake. Every day. I'm down there taking pictures and doing whatever. So like I said, you want to come with me? Go right ahead, dude. Go right a fucking head. Just guess what? One thing you fail to realize is I'm at home outside. I'm at home in the war. I'm at home by the lake. So guess what? Upper hand, me. So like I said, you want to keep talking shit and messaging me all these fucking threats saying you're going to kick my ass and shit? Dude, why don't you stop talking about it and fucking do it? Right, exactly, Rebecca. It probably is his bedtime. So like I said, Gavin, you really want to fucking fight me? Come and find me, motherfucker. Like I said, you want to meet me down here by Summit Lake? Go ahead. I'm down there every day, dude. I am down there every month. You can bring whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. Because another thing to me a hundred times better than you, dude, and especially when it comes to fighting, is that I'm trained with weapons. Whether it's bladed, guns, ranged, chain, you name it. So go ahead and bring whatever you want, little boy. So like I said, you want to face me? Yeah. Yeah. Let it out. All right. So like I said, little boy. You want me? Come and get me, bitch. I'm here and I'm ready and I'm not backing down. Unless you're scared. If you're scared, I, I would honestly, I'd be scared too, honestly. You want to come and attack me, boy? You better be ready for the ass kicking of a lifetime because you throw one swing on me, just one swing. That gives me more than enough cause to beat your little fucking ass. So like I said, you want me? You better be ready to have your ass handed to you, son, because it will happen if you try to fucking fight me. Peace, bitch.